For people who have injured their foot or ankle and need surgery, there is now research being developed to help the healing process using adult stem cells. This procedure helps the regeneration of tissue in the foot area. And joining me is Dr. Christopher Heyer from the Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Center, who has been conducting research using stem cells. Welcome, Dr. Nice Thank to have you. you here. Thank you very much. Before we get started on the process and how it works, I know you wanted to explain the difference in, in adult stem, stem cells and what you use. What does that mean? Absolutely. Uh, stem cells, we really have kind of two populations. There's the embryonic or fetal stem cells, and that's what's been in the news before. It generates some controversy sometimes. What we're using and what we're talking about is adult stem cells. It's stem cells that you and I have in our own body already that we're just uh, using to heal and, and benefit the recovery process from injuries. Where do you get stem cells? Where are they located? Well, they're in um, multiple different tissues, uh, but the highest concentration is actually in our bone marrow. So from within the bone itself, you can aspirate it or pull it out with a needle. Uh, and then concentrate it to use it for medical purposes. Which is what you've been doing? Yes. Um, explain how this works. I yes. mean, it sounds like if we're using parts of our own body to make a seal, it would work. Right, exactly. It's really just tapping into what's already there uh, and kind of using it to our benefit. So uh, we're typically using this in injuries like broken bones and torn tendons. Um, there are some other research going on even with arthritic joints uh, as ways to try to rebuild or repair cartilage. Uh, so there's still a lot being developed, uh, but uh, we've been using this for about six years and really seen some um, big improvements. Why would this help that area of the body even more than some other areas? Uh, particular tissues, especially uh, tendon and cartilage, uh, really do not have a good healing uh, response on their own. So this is a way to kind of kickstart that process by bringing those cells to that, to that tissue instead of just waiting for it to hopefully to creep in on its own. If if somebody doesn't do it initially, they've had problems and maybe they've had several surgeries, is there a time that they can do that along this process, that they can give it a try if nothing else seems to be working? Yeah, absolutely. Um, particularly for, uh, let's say, bone injuries where we can develop something called a non-union. That means the broken bone never healed correctly. Mm -hmm. um, there's, uh, you can actually concentrate the stem cells and inject it directly into that site. And uh, there's been studies in, in France that have shown that that's actually worked with a very high percentage of the time. Is it still considered experimental, doctor, or everybody's using it? I think it's, uh, it's really changed over from the experimental stage at this point. It's really made its way into clinical medicine. Um, and uh, it's become very popular even in some of the athletic populations, people trying to get back to sport. Uh, very quickly. Well, it makes sense. So you do that operation at the same time, you get the stem cell, mm -hmm. and then at the same time you put it where you want to locate it in the foot or ankle. Yep, absolutely. You, you can harvest it, um, and then you actually will concentrate it. So you actually will take the uh, uh, bone marrow aspirate and the stem cells and put it in this little centrifuge. It concentrates it down and separates it, and then you can deliver it to whatever site you need it in. Do you see results right away? Uh, I think, you know, anecdotally, I think we see pain results are much improved. Uh, well, that in itself for a lot of people is really big. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is there other parts of the body that you're using this research on? Uh, if, we, yeah, if, we, if we look around uh, the medical community, they're using it in dental work quite a bit. Um, what would they do there? It's for uh, getting uh, some of the abscesses and things to heal quicker uh, when they've had bone problems uh, where, the, where the tooth socket is. Um, we're seeing it uh, across the board in orthopedics, so pretty much every joint, uh, there's applications that can be used. So how long have you been doing the research on this, doctor, and finding out more and seeing the results? Yeah, we've uh, had clinical experience for about six, seven years. Uh, we've been doing uh, research on it for the past four. Um, we've had a few publications here recently in the last year or two. Now, does age matter at all? I mean, is there some point where it's not feasible to take bone marrow from someone? There is a... There is a um, uh, decrease in your stem cell concentration as we all get older. It uh, doesn't mean that there's not any there, it just means that we may have to take more uh, of that blood kind of out of there to get the same concentration. And so we track that depending on the patient age. Then can anyone come see you, doctor, if they haven't had success or they've had surgeries and they want to try something else, can they just contact you? Absolutely. Yeah, every uh, physician in our practice is, is up, to, up to speed on this and it's something we've been doing. Uh, so absolutely, we'd be very interested in trying to help them out. Well, we've got your name and your website and phone information so they know where to reach you. Very interesting. Great. Good luck Thank with you. your research. Thank, Thank you, you very doctor. much. Appreciate it.